He will be here at the Dublin Double Celtic Pub on Friday night in Endicott. For over 40 years, he was with the legendary band Jethro Tull, and we have with us on the whale line this morning, Mr. Martin Barr. Are you there, sir? Yes, speaking. Martin, I have to tell you what an honor it is to speak with you. I'm a huge Jethro Tull fan. I know a lot of our listening audiences as well. We we have such great appreciation for the work that you've done. Oh, that's nice. Thank you very much. Martin, I'm sure when you do a lot of these interviews that the subject turns to Jethro Tull. Obviously, it's a big part of your career. But let's start with talking about the project you have going on right now, the Martin Barr Band. Tell us about that. Um, well, it, it, it's, uh, I've, I've had the Martin Barr Band for four years, and um, obviously this is a really important part of the band's progress. For the first time we played in the state, so it's, it's uh, a really big deal for us. But, you know, the, the band's sort of growing, people are getting to know us, we're getting, uh, you know, the, the, the word's getting around that the band's really good and we're, we're playing some great music. So it's just uh, really taking off in a big way and, and everywhere we've played here, the audience reaction has been absolutely incredible. And I've listened to some of the music from the Martin Barr Band and you can definitely hear some of the Jethro Tull influence with your guitar playing, but it's also kind of a, a different type of a sound. How would you describe the music that you're playing now? Um, well, you know, I always think it's blues rock because it's all sort of firmly based uh, in, in the blues, traditional blues, but um, I just sort of tend to do what I want to do and, uh, and I'm, I'm trusting that my judgment is right because um, I only do the Jethro Tull tracks that sound really, really good live. They, um, and the sort of highlight the guitar um, and, and they work really well but then we're doing blue standards we're doing a lot of nice solo work but it, but it, it all matches together really well you know, it's sort of a seamless show where one idea merges with another and, and, and the whole uh, dynamics work really well. Martin, I have to ask you, a lot of fans will be coming to see you on Friday night at the Dublin Double Celtic Pub in Endicott. Will they be hearing some Jethro Tull in your set sheets too? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's about uh, 50% because um, in, in Europe and England, where we've been more established over the last four years, it's a slightly less Jethro Tull. I mean, I mean I'm not ever going to move completely away, but, but I, I like it to be a little bit biased towards what I want to do with music. Uh, and in, in that respect, I've rearranged some of the Toll tracks that we do and, and made them more my own musically, so re rearranging it, reconstructing some of the songs. But it'll always be there because, you know, obviously that Toll pool of, of fans is, is um, you know, that's where I'm looking to, to get support from. But, but I also like to think that, that people who don't know who I am or what I've ever done will come and see the band and, and really like the band as full up what they get. Some of the biggest classic rock songs that we have come from Jethro Tull and your leads. And you can take something like maybe the solo to Stairway to Heaven or Whole Lot of Love and compare that to Aqualung, the solo from Aqualung, which is iconic and it's just a great representation of classic rock in its finest. Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I always just thought, you know, I've, I had a job to do in Jethro Tull and in the early days it was very much a, a band, an equal band musically and so we all did the arrangements together, we, we sort of wrote our own parts, we, we put a lot into the pot uh, and that's the way bands operate really, it's a very natural way to be. So yeah, it, there was a, a lot of inspiration to be had from some of the guys that joined Tull over the years, so it, it always, you know, up, up to probably 10 years ago, it was a very fresh band because there's always new inspiration and then probably in the last 10 years you know things got quite flat and uninspired and um, the freshness and the vitality had gone so it, it was a good time for Tull to finish. And Martin I have to ask you because it's something that's been on my mind I'm very passionate about it the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Jethro Tull has been eligible for over 20 years has never been nominated once but yet you have groups, pop artists like Madonna, disco people like Donna Summer, and even rap groups getting acknowledgement from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but yet groups like Jethro Tull and many others are being snubbed. And I wondered what your take was on that, how you felt about it. Oh, um, you know, I, I, I don't have an opinion because, uh, you know, I, I think it would be quite pompous to, to say that we, we, we belong there. And, and I heard um, that, that there's a campaign to get Yes into the Hall of Fame, you know, and Yes pretty well on a parallel with us career-wise and, you know, the importance of what they've done. 
if our time comes, it will. But I think probably the, 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 the main problem is that there isn't a, uh, an entity called Jethro Tull anymore. So I, I don't know who they would want to induct because, uh, you know, which band do you look at and say, that's Jethro Tull? <laughs> Most of the guys that we're going to induct, it, it, it's... It's become so diluted over the years. Uh, and I mean, I, I guess to me, it would be the original band, obviously when I joined, but the original band that came to America, which was Glenn Cornick, who's obviously sadly passed away. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the, the other three of us, that, 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 that would be Jethro Tull. Uh, but I don't know how they look at it. Yeah, the process is very frustrating to us fans as well. But, uh, Martin, we hope that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame will get it right sometime soon and start inducting bands like Jethro Tull into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing the Martin Barr Band Friday night, Dublin Double Celtic Pub, Route 26 in Endicott. And I want to thank you so much, Martin. It's been an absolute pleasure and an honor to be able to speak with you today. You're very welcome. Very welcome. Thank you so much.